to a small little burlesque routine. My name is Goldminka, I'm a burlesque performer and a belly dance teacher and here on my YouTube channel you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos for a beautiful you. So if you are interested in this, subscribe to my channel. Yes, so then just let's start right away with the movement number one. Movement number one is the hip shimmy. <laughs> so th this is a very yes nice and funny movement. I really like it very much. And when you want to practice the shimmy, you get a comfortable position, a nice posture. And then what you do for getting this shimmy movement is just bending your knees front and back. So this is the whole secret of the shimmy move. This is how it looks when you do it slow. You just bend your knees front and back and you do not move your upper body too much. And when you speed it up, this means when you bend your knees faster, then you will have this shimmy. So <laughs> at the end, this movement is um, easier than you think, so because it's just a simple technique of bending your knees. It's not a whatever random shaking or exhausting thing, whatever. It's just bending your knees, the front and back. Nevertheless, there are some mistakes you should avoid when doing a shimmy. And if you want to know these mistakes and if you want to learn the shimmy a little bit more in detail, then watch my shimmy video here. Movement number two is also a shimmy, it's the chest shimmy, which is this movement. It's also a really funny movement. All the shimmy movements, yes, I like them very much because they are just a laughter with um, the whole body. And the chest movement, how to get into the smooth, again, get a nice comfortable position. And then you just twist your upper body from side to side. So this means you twist to the left, to the right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then again you speed it this up and then you have this nice little chest shimmy or shoulder shimmy. And if you want to learn this movement, then you can watch this video for more information about this chest shimmy. <laughs> Movement number three is this bump movement. This is a really strong movement which you can use on strong parts of your music. For example, the drums are really, um, yes, strong parts of your music and here you just throw everything you have to the side. What, what helps here is squeezing your glutes. So, so right, left, right, left and you just uh, squeeze your glutes and it looks even a little bit stronger. So, and you can also double this movement. So two times, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Or it works even four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this movement also looks very good from behind. So if you turn you're back to your audience and you can also bump like this. We do it two times. One, two, one, two, two, one, two. So this is also a very nice movement and here you can... <laughs> so here you can watch my bump tutorial videos. I have made tutorial videos on every movement I explain here. And yes, if you like this video so far, then I would be happy if you give me a thumb up. And movement.
movement number four already. This is the opposite movement of the bump. So the bump is a very strong movement and now we have a very soft movement. And this is the grind. So this is a really smooth movement with your hip. All you're doing here is uh, drawing the figure eight with your hip. And you can really yes, get into the movement, feel it from the inside. And yes, so I love this movement really much because it's a very essential movement. And what helps here is the imagination of water in your hips. So you can, um, yes, while drawing the figure eight, you can imagine the water is flowing in your hips. And yes, so we do this a few times more and this movement also looks very beautiful from the back. <laughs> and here you also can double it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> and the final burlesque move is not really a move, but it's, yes, a pose. So you can always pose, for example, one arm, the second arm, come down with your arms, or you can also lift both arms at the same time. You can bring your back to the audience and pose like this. Go down with one arm with your other arms. Um, <laughs> so here you have a lot of variations and this is what you always can do in between. So a pose always works between all these burlesque moves. You have a lot of variations in posing, you have yes, endless possibilities and you can always put a pose in between your moves. So this really works perfectly and yes, so these, these are our five burlesque moves. So we had the shimmy, the shoulder shimmy, the bump, the grind and the pose. And yes, now let's bring all this together to a small little routine. This routine, the movements in this routine will not have the same order than I had here in the explanations. So I show you the routine. show you the little routine, therefore I step a little bit back and then it starts. At first we do a nice pose, one arm, the second arm, we come down. Movement number two of our routine is the shoulder shimmy. Then we walk four steps to the front, one, two, three, four. I cannot do really big steps because I don't have too much space here. So four steps to the front and then bump, 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 bump. And then grind. And we step or we turn around. Grind again, pulse again, this always works, pulse, 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 walk back, four steps again, two, three, four, and then we do a shimmy, pulse and ta-da! <laughs> so this is a small little sequence. I show it again, you can dance with me and then we will do it with music. So, at first we have our pose. Shoulder shimmy. 
Walk four steps. One, two, three, four. And then I forgot my little routine and that's why I just do a pose, which always works. No, and then it was a bump, 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 grind. Turn back to the audience, grind again, pose, walk back, four steps, one, two, three, four, shimmy, and pose, ta -da. Yes, so this is um, what you can do out of only five movements, you just Bring them together and if you forget something, if you don't know what to do, if you're lost in your routine, you can always do a pose. This always helps. So now let's dance the whole thing with music two times. So.